This movie is rated R. It contains some nudity, some violence, and mild language. Showtime suggests viewer discretion. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Game over, yeah! I want my new contract. But I like you. Yes, I like you, Jerry. My wife likes you. You're good to my wife. I will stay with you. That's, that's great. I'm very happy. Are you listening? Yes. That's what I'm going to do for you. God bless you, Jerry. But this is what you're going to do for me. You listen? Jerry? Yeah, what, what, what can I do for you, Rod? You just tell me what can I do for you. It's a very personal, very important thing. Hell. It's a family model. Are you ready, Jerry? I'm ready. Just want to make sure you're ready, brother. Here it is. Show me the money. Boom. Boom. Ah! 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 I want you to say it with you with me then, brother. Hey, I got Bob Sugar on the other line. I better hear you say it. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Show you the money. Not, not show you. Show me the money. Show me the money. Yes. Louder. Show me the money. That's it, brother, but you got to yell that shit. Show me the money. I need to feel you, Jerry. Show me the money. Jerry, you better yell. Show me the money. Congratulations, you're still my agent. What's up, Fight Fans? It's your man, 3K The Boss, a.k.a. Mr. Two Hands Up. You already know what it is. Man, what in the fuck? Man, what in the fuck? Bruh. What in the fuck are the fuck? Bruh. What in the fuck is going on right now? Boy. Bruh, 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 bruh. Yo, bruh. yo, yo, yo. This can't be life, man. Reality can be whatever I want. Oh, like my nigga the baby said, man. Oh, God. Before I get started on this shit, man. Huh? Let me give us a beat with some bop in it. Oh. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, you're cool, and fuck you, I'm out. Gotcha, bitch. Holy fucking shit. All right, Fightsman, so Mike Coppinger brings the latest word on the functionally undisputed lightweight title fight between Vasily Lomachenko and Teofimo Lopez. And the news isn't good. Lopez reportedly rejected a take it or leave it offer of 1.2 million. Well, he and left. Now resigned to defending his IBF title against a different opponent. No Lomachenko, 14 and no 1 in 10 KOs, accepted a final package in excess of 3.25 million dollars early this week. Negotiations have been rocky since the beginning. The two were first linked to a May, excuse me, a May 30th pay-per-view but didn't appear to make any real progress by the time of the coronavirus. Crushed those plans. Lopez, 15 and 0 with 12 knockouts, initially claimed that he wouldn't fight Lomachenko without an audience. Though he later changed his tone, and a potential September date was quietly pushed back to October 3rd. Between this and the failure to get a Canelo September 12th opponent, despite months of preparation, it's looking like it'll be a while before we get another true blockbuster fight. In the meantime, we'll have to be content ourselves with watching decent matchups 
collapse at the 11th hour. What's up, Fight Fans? It's your man 3K the Boss, aka Mr. Two Hands Up. You already know what it is, man. Well, Fight Fans, you know, at first I was feeling alive as of a couple of days ago. Now y'all wanna know what I'm feeling like? Do y'all motherfucking fight fans really wanna know what I'm feeling like? I'm feeling like it's a lie. Boy, it's a lie. Bruh. This whole thing is becoming a sham. Now, I gotta be realistic and I gotta play devil's advocate because if I say I'm a firm believer in keeping the same energy, when it comes to this situation, I have to keep the same energy. I 1000% have to keep the same energy. And the same energy in dealing with this situation is the fact that Tiafimo is not keeping that same energy. No, and why is he not keeping that same energy? Considering Boy. that you only made 500,000 to fight Richard Comey, and knowing that you made 500,000 to fight Comey, and now without even having fans present, and there's a strong chance that this fight won't be a pay-per-view, and they're paying you 1.25 million, that's more than double what you got paid for Comey. So, you know, respectively, I mean, they are keeping in mind that you are a champion, but they're keeping in mind the fact that Vasily Lomachenko is a unified champion as well. Hello. So his purse has to be more than yours, because if no fans are gonna be influenced in the sale, or if there's not gonna be any pay-per-view that you could take off of the back end, then, yeah, Lomachenko should be getting more. Boy. Because he has more belts, so that would make him the A-side. He's the unified champion, and he has what you want. And I know you feel like this thing don't work without you, but still, this thing don't work without him. But I don't see him doing the same, um, expressing the same grievances that you are. His name was already signed on the dotted line for the $3.25 and you were the one who said that he was complaining about venues and purses ever since this fight was, you know, coming together. So right now, I would have to say, if you feel like you can knock that dude out, $1.25 should be enough to suffice. Oh, or if that shit. is the first offer, I could understand again. wanting to go back to the drawing board and getting an increased offer. But if you don't take the fight, fam, all of that stuff you was talking about, bruh, you know what I mean? For this situation, I just can't believe you because it seems like you want a big enough payday, you know what I mean, to make it worth it if you go in there and that dude will stop you or you get beat in very convincing Boom. fashion. I don't know, bro. It could be a multiple, uh, a multitude of things. But at the same time, I believe you could beat this dude, man. And if you believe in yourself the way you talk about believing in yourself, you should want to take this fight because I know Lomachenko wants your head right now. So if you pulling back from the fight, bruh, we got to call it what we called it. You kind of U-turn from the scrap. You U-turn from the smoke. So we gotta call it a duck, fam, because this should be the only thing that matters to you right now. If not, bruh, I just don't know what else to say because who's to say the opportunity is gonna be there again? Lomachenko is always trying to challenge himself and do great things, and, and honestly, you know, fuck it. If you don't want it, man, Devin Haney, let Devin Haney get that work, bro. I'm sure Devin Haney would take that work with 1.25 and wipe your ass out. Well, I really can't say that, but I'm just saying, if I'm confident in myself the way you seem to be confident in yourself, there's no reason you want to take this fight. But I'm not going to keep repeating myself. Let's see what happens. As we always say at the end of this shit, it costs you nothing to pay a nigga no mind. Man, Tia Fimo, Tia Fimo, bruh. Go back to the drawing board. If you can't get nothing extra, man, I don't know, bro. Take the fight because, yo, People are waiting. People are waiting for this fight to implode. People don't want to see you in that ring because they going to dog you. They want to rightfully dog you. All them Lomachenko fans want to rightfully dog you. And, you know, you're going to give them the ammunition, fam. Don't give them the fucking ammunition. As we always say at the end of this shit, it costs you nothing to pay a nigga no mind. A few moments later. One more thing. A fighter's mentality should always be this. Roll the footage. Are the stories about you true? They say your mother is an immortal goddess. They say you can't be killed. I wouldn't be bothering with the shield then, would I? The Thessalonian you're fighting. He's the biggest man I've ever seen. I wouldn't want to fight him. That's why no one will remember your name. My feelings are dead. <laughs> I, I feel no remorse. Yo, it's a terrible thing. 